a quick video for you guys. Um, right now, um, basically what it is is basically, um, I drained out all the brake fluid that's in the master cylinder. So what I did was I took the cover off for the master cylinder, and then I uh, took out the filter. But the whole point of this video is to show you exactly the codes well not the codes but the actual uh well the code that you would get that i'm talking about in this video is the code is 651 it's a tbs tca vsa light that comes on the dashboard i'm going to show you guys in a second so basically you see that the master cylinder is empty what i did was i drained it out but this is just a, a video just showing um you know what what happens when the brake master cylinder gets low like in case you have a, a brake line that's uh that's bad or whatever you know so uh basically i'm just showing you that so basically what this is this is a connector that connects to it there's a sensor on the side of the master cylinder that tells the master the cylinder master cylinder when it's low so it lets you know inside okay so basically that's the sensor right there it plugs into the side of it this would you can also do this just to test to make sure that yours is also working properly you can drain it out what i did was i bought one of these siphon pumps off of um i have this in my amazon store if you look in the link in the description my amazon store is on the bottom i'll link it on the bottom where you can pick up the siphon pump it's like 16 dollars. and what i did was i uh i connected uh like the vacuum hose like I had some vacuum hose in the garage so what I did was I connected the vacuum hose to the end here and put some duct tape around it in order for it to get all the way on the bottom there to suck out all the the brake fluid well this is a good way to also uh, replace your brake fluid because most of your brake fluid is in the master cylinder which is right here and then it pushes down into the brake lines which it doesn't really have too much you know uh fluid in the brake lines as much as it is in the master cylinder this is where most of the the brake fluid sits so uh i'm, uh, I'm gonna make another video showing you guys how to break how to bleed the uh braking system on the car and the order and everything but not in this video this video i'll just be showing you guys um basically uh what this is about for the VSA for the master cylinder so I'm gonna go in the car I'm gonna start it and show you guys what pop up on the screen <clears throat> so right now I'm gonna put the ignition start it up and this is what stays on the dash so start it up so you see the brake light is on stating at the brake now what that means is since that brake light is on, that means there's something going on with the braking system for the car. Okay? Now, there's supposed to be a VSA. The VSA light is going to come on once it senses that the, the brake fluid is low. And, um, well, it'll come on in a second. And the VSA will come on. As you can see, it just came on. The VSA light and the traction control light came on vehicle stability assist the vsa but see i never pressed it and you saw it just came on it just popped on by itself this is letting you know when you see the brake the vsa and the traction control light come on at the same time that means that the brake master cylinder in the inside over there that means that's low that's what that means that the brakes that the uh brake fluid is low that you more than more than most like, likely you have a brake line that's leaking fluid or a caliper that's leaking or whatever it is and you have to replace that or it might just keep leaking over and over again or maybe the master cylinder is leaking not too sure but uh you definitely have to go around to each brake line and check each one so basically i'm just showing you guys just as a test on my car showing you guys that the switch works on the brake master cylinder that's just a way of testing it but i'm just showing you that if you get this don't don't go crazy don't lose your mind that it's as simple as you know you know either replacing putting new brake fluid in the in the master cylinder or just getting a brake line and changing it which isn't too hard but i'll make a video on that also um so basically this is what happens 
So when you see this happen on your dashboard, don't drive yourself crazy. So what I'm gonna do now is I have brake fluid. So I'm gonna leave the car running and I'm gonna pull brake fluid in the master cylinder and we'll see if this cuts off. Dot three. Brake fluid right here. Okay. So I'm gonna put back the filter. Put a master cylinder to filter out the fluid that goes in there. Put a master cylinder. So now I'm gonna fill it up. Now the master cylinder, it has a max line, which is right here. That's the max level where you can fill it up, and then the lowest point is right down here that's the lowest so it should be if you fill up to about right here you should be fine you need anything more than that so what i'm gonna do is uh fill this up with brand new brake fluid Okay, as you can see, the fluid line level is right here. So that's pretty good. So let's see if the light went out. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, the light hasn't went out yet. As you can see, the brand new fluid is in there. It's nice and clean. Just gonna add a little bit more fluid in there. That should be good to go. Put the brake cap back on. Now the master cylinder is full to the max mark. So what I'm going to do is allow the system to reset itself by turning it off, okay, and then turning the car back on. That light should go out. And as you can see, the brake light went out, and the VSA lights and everything went out, and everything is good to go. Everything's back to normal. So when I hit the VSA button, the traction control comes on and off when it's supposed to. And everything is good to go. I just wanted to make that video just to show you guys, you know, for the people that probably had that or will get that code later on down the line or whatever. So, you know, I have the video online showing you guys what it is so you don't go, you know, too crazy trying to figure out exactly what's going on. <sighs> Everything is good and then yeah I got fresh brake uh, brake fluid in the master cylinder as you can see it was nice and clear this is my brake fluid before now it's like really clear uh, like I said I'm gonna make another video video for you guys showing you guys uh, the order to brake to bleed the brakes for the you know car and everything and uh, I got a lot more video coming for you guys uh, just want to tell you guys I appreciate all the views and I appreciate all the subscribes and appreciate all the love and the comments. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.